Hey guys, Palaki here, and today we're going to be trying to get this port of doom called Fast Tomb running on my 386. Alright, so at this point it's almost a meme. Doom runs on everything. From calculators to digital cameras and iPods, Doom has been ported to just about every platform available. But what about the few machines that do not have enough power to run even the original release of Doom? The goal of this port is rather interesting, being that it's designed to optimize the original MS-DOS release of Doom to run faster on original hardware as sort of a low-spec version of Doom. I figured that the perfect machine to test this out on would be my 386SX desktop. This was one of my first machines to introduce me to the world of retro computers, and over the years, it's been repainted, recapped, upgraded, and as you can see, has had LGR-inspired fake wood trim applied. It's made by a company I'd never heard of, Leading Technology. The model is a 6800SX, and the only info I was really lucky enough to get a hold of was the manual, which was very helpful in figuring out jumper settings. Being a budget PC really isn't anything to brag about, but in this case it actually makes the machine a lot easier to configure and use. It has onboard IDE controller, onboard Western Digital Paradise VGA card, and thank goodness, PS2 connectors. Just having those ports makes this oh so easy to use with relatively new keyboard and mouse hardware, instead of having to resort to yucky old serial mice. The only other add-ons which I really ended up needing were a sound blaster and ethernet card. Unfortunately, when it comes to things like games, a 386SX kind of falls flat. It's really more similar to a 286 class machine in terms of performance. Still, I of course always wanted to push the limits, but Doom has always been just far too slow to be comfortably playable. That's why I decided to get a little adventurous and break out the soldering iron to install a pin-compatible CPU upgrade, the Texas Instruments 486SXLC. This strange little chip provides a 486 class processor on a 16-bit bus. To compensate for the slow system bus, the Texas Instruments variation I have offers a massive 8 kilobytes of cache, allowing the CPU to do much more work between slow memory transfers. The motherboard was never really designed with this cache in mind, so I also had to rig up a simple circuit to inform the CPU to flush its cache when the memory contents change. I also swapped out the 32 MHz crystal on board for a 40 MHz one, boosting the bus clock from 16 to 20 MHz. While these upgrades did provide a huge upgrade in performance, unfortunately, it still did not result in a playable experience with the original Doom. Here's where the Fast Doom port comes in. Faster rendering? Potato mode? This re-sparked my interest in finally getting Doom to run on this old machine. Did my lowly 386SX finally have a chance to run Doom with this new port? The answer to this question is honestly a resounding yes. The performance difference on this machine is quite dramatic, though at a cost. Okay, so it obviously looks a lot worse. I'm running this with the optional potato mode, which renders at about a quarter of the standard resolution. With the lowered resolution and simplified rendering, it almost resembles Super Nintendo Doom. There's a few other optional tweaks being used, such as rendering many surfaces as flat and culling far objects. But all these in combination result in what I would consider to be a very playable experience. Well, at least playable for someone who basically has the levels memorized enough to understand what these clusters of pixels are even supposed to be. The frame rate is quite solid, usually holding over 30 frames per second. I'm pretty sure a full game playthrough would be possible, and would actually be quite an interesting challenge. Well, thanks for watching this video about Fast Doom and my little 386 computer. This port of Doom is really only useful to a certain group of retro computer enthusiasts, but it's definitely an interesting example of programming optimizations and what can be done with older hardware. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Um, I actually have a lot more stuff I could do with this. Right now I've got a GLS Breadbox Ensemble that's running. Um, I've also got a lot more other games. If you're interested in this little PC or more of its capabilities, let me know in the comments. I wanted to mostly showcase this fast Doom port, though I do have many other games and programs running on the system, along with alternative operating systems such as GeoWorks. So yeah, let me know if you want to see these types of videos. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.